Hey viewers, thank you for joining us in this class. Here we want to find the value of x in this exponential equation. And uh, from here, let's divide through by 9 raised to power x. So we can have 25 raised to power x divided by 9 raised to power x. Then minus 15 raised to power x. Also, divide by 9 raised to power x. Which is equal to 9 raised to power x divided by 9 raised to power x. Here, this one we cancel each other and we have one left on that side. Then on this side, we have it as raising to the power x. Let's take you know one x, let's take the x out from the law of indices. That is when we have a raised to power n divided by b raised to power n. Of course, you can write this as a over b, everything raised to power n. Then from there, you can see we have this as 25 over 9 all raised to power x. And also on this side as well, you can also take x out. I say this is 15 over 9 raised to power x and this has reduced to 1 on this side so from there we can see that here now I can reduce 25 I can write it as power of 2 and I can write 9 as power of 2 as well so that we have 5 squared over 3 squared then all raised to power x Then this one we can reduce this one, 3 can go up and 3 can go down. So 3 goes in 15, that's 5. 3 goes in 9, that's 3. That's 5 over 3, then raised to power x. Then equals to 1. Then also we can see that here we have raised to power 2 and raised to power 2. This one can be written as 5 over 3 or raised to power 2, which is raised to power x as well then minus 5 over 3 all raised to power x then equals to 1 and from there we can see from here that we have 5 over 3 raised to power x so i can also interchange this x that this x can come inside and to go outside because this two power multiplies so we can interchange it and this will be 5 over 3 so we have 5 over 3 raised to power x then all raised to power you know 2 here this 2 has come out then minus 5 over 3 raised to power x then equals to 1 then from there i can use a letter to represent 5 over 3 raised to power x now i can say let y be equals to 5 over 3 raised to power x so that this equation can become y squared that is 5 over 3 raised to power x is y now y squared minus y equals to 1 and we can use this to form a quadratic equation that is when we use this to form a quadratic equation we can take one here that's y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0 and we can solve for y here using the quadratic formula that is our a here is 1 our b here is minus 1 our c is also minus 1 so applying the formula here that y equals to minus b plus or minus minus b that's minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b squared that's minus 1 square minus 4ac 4a that's 1 then c is minus 1 then all over 2a 2 times 1 that's t2 then from there we can see that here now this will be y will now be equals to this is 1 now plus 1 that's 1 plus or minus square root of 
minus 1 square is 1, then we have minus 10, minus plus, that's 1 plus, you know, 5. 1 plus 4, that's 5 here, that's root 5, then all over 2. So we have two possible solutions here now, which is 1 plus root 5 over 2 or 1 minus root 5 over 2. And when we separate it, this is what we have. So one is plus and one is minus. The other one that is minus will not satisfy what we have because our y from what we have is 5 over 3 raised to the power x. And this has to be positive. So this one will not work. That means our y will now be equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. So this is our y now. 5 over 3 raised to the power x. So when we now take the log on both sides, when we take the log on both sides, take the log of this, log 5 over 3 raised to the power x, then log on this side as well, log 1 plus root 5 all over 2. Then from there we can see that the law of logarithm we appear we apply here. X can come to the back here, that will be x log. 5 over 3. Then on this side as well, we can separate this log and say this is log 1 plus root 5, then minus log 2. Because here now, division will be minus when you separate the log. And also here too, we can separate the log. That is, this will now be x. Multiply by log so f multiply by log five then minus log three so which is equal to log which is equal to log one plus root five then minus log two so therefore to get the value of x we can divide both side by log five minus log three and x will now be equal to, so x will be equal to log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. Then everything now divided by log 5 minus log 3. And that will give us the solution to our problem. We say thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.